So once the login process finishes here, a cookie is generated as a authentication ticket. The cookie may or may not have a expiry date and time. As developers, we have the power to choose to set the expiry date and time or not. Okay. And that expiry date and time is also affected by browser session. So in this video, we are going to talk about the lifetime of a cookie and how it's affected by the browser session. So like I said, we can choose to control the lifetime. And the way to do so is to come to the startup.cs. And then when we add a cookie authentication handler, we can come over here and say options, right? And then we can specify the expiry time span, right? So we can say we're going to expire in about, uh, let's say in about 30 seconds, right? So if we do that, and then I'm going to run control I5 and I'm going to log in and if we watch the time. It may start at 45. So when it goes to 5, 38, 15, the authentication ticket, which is the, the cookie, will expire. Now it comes to 15. So if I go to, for example, this or going back, see, it does not work. So as you can see, we can configure to have a lifetime, right? And when we have a lifetime, the cookie will expire when the time comes. But what happens if we close the browser before the cookie expires? Let's try that. Okay. So I'm going to log in and then right after this, I'm going to close the whole browser. So I'm going back to the page again. And as you can see, we don't have a cookie anymore, right? Because closing the browser, it automatically deleted the cookie. So how is browser session affects the lifetime of a cookie? So let's talk about that now. First of all, what is a browser session? Right? A browser session is basically a interaction between the browser and the server, right? So the browser session lasts as long as the lifetime of the browser. So as soon as you close the browser, the session is finished. So that's the browser session. So if we draw two bars, right, the first bar represents the lifetime of the cookie. The second one represents the lifetime of the session, browser session. So how is the browser session lifetime affects the, the cookie lifetime, right? So if the browser's lifetime is longer, than the cookie lifetime. Basically, it does not affect the cookie's lifetime. The cookie will expire when the time comes, right? At this moment, it will expire. If the browser session is shorter than the cookie lifetime, of course, so the cookie's actual lifetime is right here, right? Because the browser is closed, the cookie is gone, right? But there is a exception where you as a developer can set as a set the cookie as a persistent cookie, which means that the cookie will survive the browser's closing. Right? So even when the browser is closed, the cookie will still stay there. So this is called persistent cookie, right? A persistent cookie will always have the lifetime as you set for the cookie. Let's say the browser is closed here and then after some time the browser is open again this time the session is a little bit longer the browser session is a bit longer the cookie will still expire at this moment right there how, so how do we set a cookie as a persistent cookie you have all experienced the login screen where you see there's like keep me sign in or remember me checkbox when you check that checkbox then the cookie becomes a persistent cookie. So let's implement that in, in our Visual Studio. So first of all, we need a model, right? Page model that includes uh, a checkbox, which is going to be a Boolean variable here, right? So we're going to call it remember me. And then we're going to have a better display name with a space in between. So I'm going to say, remember me, just like in Coco. And then uh, we are going to 
go to the login page here and then we are going to add a, a row here right let's say this is going to be a row and then we're going to use form check right and then we are going to have a little bit margin at the bottom uh, because this is not a form con form group right so it doesn't have enough margin at the bottom so we're going to add a little bit margin there and then in the like in between we're going to have the same thing here and we are going to change this to a checkbox this is going to be a data binding here and we're going to bind to remember me and then the class is going to be form check right form check input and it does not need to have a value here and then we'll need a label for that uh, checks box checkbox right and this is going to be called form check label and of course this is going to be for the same field which is remember me and then that's it right so with this we are going to receive once it's posted right the form is posted we're going to receive that value in the credentials in in the remember me field so what we need to do is before we sign the cookie right sign in and create the cookie we need to have a, another variable that's called uh authorize authentication properties right? and we're going to create that authentication properties you can see this right here and then there's a whole bunch of things you can configure here one thing that is important to us is this is persistent thing uh, we're gonna make it persistent only when the user selected check the checkbox so when the remember me is true right so we'll have this authentication property and then we're gonna pass it as the third parameter you can see that the third parameter here is the authentication property right so with this let's give it a try let's check double check what is the 30 seconds okay so we have a 30 seconds cookie that is too short for our experiment because we want to try to close the browser and then come back and see that the cookie still works right so let's have a two minutes uh two minutes cookie first and then i'm gonna do control i5 all right so we're gonna log in and this time i'm gonna check remember me and if i click i'm logged in right now and then i'm gonna close the browser and i'm gonna open it up again all right so the browser is open you can see that we're still we're still here we don't have to log in right our cookie is still here uh not this one this one right our cookie is still here that is a persistent cookie now the persistent cookie is still subject to the expiry date and to test that let's have a shorter cookie which we change back to 30 seconds lifetime and then we are going to test that okay so let's log in again we're gonna log in and then immediately i'm gonna close the browser and i'm gonna open up the browser again so i did this within 30 seconds so i'm still logged in right so let's wait for another 15 seconds okay now if i refresh my screen my cookie has already expired when I refresh my screen, I expect that I'm kicked out because my cookie is not valid anymore. So, and I refresh my sc screen, I see my login page, and that's exactly what's supposed to be. So, hopefully, this video is helpful to help you understand the relationship between the cookie lifetime and browser session lifetime. So, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. And if not, I'll see you in the next video.